Hey, hey, welcome back to the Roadside Rescue YouTube channel. I'm Ernest, and today we have got a slight emergency call out up to a town about 30 minutes away across the lake. Mostly is why it's so far away. Um, customer called us a few days ago and had a bad O2 sensor diagnosed. And so we just got the part. We're going to run up there and get him a new O2 sensor put in his vehicle. And uh, hopefully it takes care of the issue. But it's low risk for me because uh, I didn't do the diagnosis. So all I have to do is replace the part and I'm really not responsible for it. So uh, a little bit of peace of mind, a little bit of ease going up there to do it. Should be pretty quick. On the way back, we'll do this belt that you may have seen in another video. I was given the wrong belt a few days ago. It just... It had the same number, it was just one number off. So on the way back, we'll put that belt on, we'll just do them both together. And then I may be doing another O2 sensor later, but the person's out of town till like next week. So if I don't do it today, I can do it tomorrow, whenever. So we'll skip across the lake over here, about 30 minutes away and get this O2 sensor taken care of. See you there. So here we are, we've got that second O2 sensor down there. I sprayed some penetrating fluid on it just to get it to start loosening up. We've got her jacked up safely here. I'm gonna go underneath the front and I should be able to reach up there with that O2 sensor wrench. And uh, it's that green wire there. We've got the original equipment replacement, which is also green. It's always a good sign, plugs in up here. So pretty simple to find. And the code itself is interesting but simple enough, it is a O2 sensor slow response. So pretty weird code or rare, I should say, but uh, should get taken care of with a new O2 sensor. So we'll go ahead and get this old one out. Uh, it's got that pigtail wire holding it off the exhaust. So you just kind of wrap it through there and the connector over here. So we'll get this old one out and the new one in. We'll reach up from underneath where you can see that hole down there and get this out. Okay, here's the old one. Looks burnt like they all do because it's an that catalytic converter, but we'll go up top, pull it out, put the new one in. There's not much to show because one, you can't see anything, two, it's just pretty quick. Uh, the other thing you always want to remember is if you put oil on somebody's exhaust to warn them that their car is going to smoke afterwards because I've had people freak out about that. But we'll put that in and uh, we'll wrap it up here real quick. Right, there's the new sensor perfectly in its place we will go ahead and get her get her running clear the codes okay that was a success not too much to see but uh it looks like it's reading perfectly fine i pulled up the live data and looked at it as well um everything looks fine so uh we're gonna head over and put this belt on that we missed the other day and then uh, we'll be on our way home and maybe do one more o2 sensor for today uh but maybe not we'll see how we're feeling and uh go from there okay here we are we're just about ready to get down to that bell we had Originally almost planned on doing brakes on this vehicle as well But uh, Per the customer's request we didn't do them. So I'm gonna recommend that he does these uh, Just based on the amount of rust and wear on these rotors, but also when we were changing the spark plugs on this vehicle the other day there was uh, Oil in one of those spark plug wells. So uh, He's gonna need a valve cover gasket done as well uh, Depending on how they make these valve covers. I'm not sure if those uh, valve cover uh, you know, tube seals are serviceable or not. Some vehicles aren't. I know some Nissans aren't, so we'll have to check into that. The whole valve cover itself may have to be replaced is the point I'm getting at. Uh, if not, then those, if they're serviceable, then we can just replace those uh, seals at the top and the valve cover gasket itself. So we'll go ahead and get up to this belt and just get it done real quick. Okay, 
Hey, there's the old belt. Here's the new one. Uh, this one's just pretty dry rotted, worn out. You can see uh, the grooves are real exaggerated on this one as compared to this. Nice and new. Good. But finally we got it on there. And everything's lined up right. So there shouldn't be any issues with it. It looks good. We'll go ahead and put everything back together real quick. Success. So that all went together as expected, maybe a little bit tighter than expected, but uh, no serious issues. It's a job well done. We just got an emergency call out for a broken down vehicle. That'll be on the next episode. If you were entertained by this video, please consider subscribing. As always, have a great day. Hey, hey, welcome back to the Roadside Rescue YouTube channel. We pretty much just got done with today, but we just got an emergency call out for a vehicle that broke down. Luckily, right as soon as this girl was pulling into work. So she got to her work, the car's parked there. And uh, sorry about the crack in the screen, I've got a new one on the way. But uh, we'll get over there and see if we can't figure out what's wrong with her vehicle. She said it just sputtered, died, and the battery light came on. So uh, we've got some test equipment, not too much, because we've been out just doing some O2 sensor stuff today. But we'll we'll go down there and see if we can't diagnose the problem and get it fixed for her. But it's most likely gonna be go down there to do a diagnosis and then come back with the correct part and uh, get that fixed for her. So we'll check in when we get there. We'll head on over. It's about 25 minutes away from here. All right, so here we are with the vehicle. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and include this in the last video. It started up just fine. There's no trouble codes. No check engine light, all the live data looks well, all the systems are green, meaning good to go. Uh, I've started and stopped it a few times, can't replicate the problem, so sometimes uh, you can't figure out if there was an issue, what it was, or if there even is an issue. It could have just been she turned her wheel real hard and uh, just, you know, bogged down the engine, killed it. Uh, it's probably the most likely thing. Um, yeah, so I can't replicate anything, so we're gonna go ahead and chalk this one up as uh, a problem that we can't repeat and see if it doesn't happen again and see if we can't figure something else out. <laughs> 